New Brunswickers continue to clean up after an intense storm ripped across the province over the weekend. Cambridge Narrows in the Grand Lake area was the epicenter of the storm most people in the area believe was a tornado. The cost of the damage left behind is estimated in the thousands of dollars. Ron, based on the videos taken by area residents and the kind of damage they're seeing, meteorologists are fairly certain it was a tornado that touched down here in Cambridge Narrows this weekend. Now they're investigating to see how big it was and how much damage it left behind. I've seen it right over there in the field and it was high and it was roared just like a freight train. Jones was at his parents' house down the road on Saturday when a violent storm came whipping through his property. In a matter of seconds, his barn, trucks and shed were in piles on the ground. We had friends up the road a mile, a little over a mile up the road that said there was stuff washed up on our beach from my garage. But even with all this damage, Environment Canada wasn't able to classify this storm until now. The damage that we're seeing here today and in combination with uh, that video that we saw on the internet, I mean, it's pretty, pretty clear that uh, this area was affected by a tornado on Saturday. Oh my God! Oh my God! This video was shot by residents in the area Saturday night. Tornadoes are caused by supercells or violent thunderstorms with rotation. That's what Environment Canada saw on their radar Saturday night. And Robichaux says there could have been a tornado coupled with something called a microburst. Uh, a microburst is essentially a very strong downdraft from, uh, from a thunderstorm. And uh, we can't rule out that there may have been one here, but you can have a tornado and a downburst in, in the same storm. It took officials until today to be certain, but Paula Bellier had no doubts in her mind. She and her family took shelter in this trailer when the twister touched down. A lot of cracking. It, it sounded like trees falling everywhere, and we have huge trees that came down. And just a roar, like a roar. Paula, Harold's niece, says her family is still in shock, but they're coming together. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're lucky. <laughs> lucky to be here. my gosh, there's a tornado. We can even hear it. You can't hear it through the camera, but there's a massive tornado. Well, there's a tornado, and uh, you can see debris flying. Holy shit. Look at it. Wow. in the water we can't see it but look at the boat it's it's moving the boat 